I'll wager that somewhere in your house you've got one of these, an old Apple compatible dock thing that you're probably going to go and throw out to the tip, which is where this one has more or less been saved from. So I'm going to see how we can turn this into something useful uh, and Bluetoothable. And I'm not going to probably do it via the ox. We'll see though. Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office teardown lab. First things first, let's see if there's any life in this thing. Well, I do see a red LED and that's probably good enough for me. So let's see how we get into this thing. This has a crazy construction. It looks like it's probably all done from the front, you know. It's a speaker for iPhone, iPad, great stuff um, of the old generation. And if you look around, a lot of charity shops and stuff. You still see these car boot sales. Um, this one's got an aux port on it, which means it's actually usable. You can use it right away, but I wouldn't want to use it because who has things on a wire? So my intention is to see if there's a way of getting into it so we can add my final maker focus Bluetooth board and maybe even wire in the mic so we can turn it into a, you know, one of those Google, okay, Google type things as well while we're at it. But the first challenge really is getting into this and I kind of don't want to massacre it by ruining this fabric thing but I kind of feel we're going to end up ruining it. Um, but let's try. Nope. All these things definitely look like they're fitted afterwards so yeah that fabric is definitely on after the event. Ah oh, ho 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 hello. <gasps> oh, we could be in here. We could be in. Let's work our way around. Yes. Phew. Didn't particularly want to ruin that. It's like you're not bothered, but you are bothered. Because if you get this working, you kind of will be annoyed because you didn't do a good job of it. Ooh. Oh, wow. There's way more to these than I expected. You've got, look, a base and two tweeters. That's actually really surprising. Okay. Good. Um... Let's pop this uh, open, just check these out. Yep, that's standard. In fact, is there speakers there too? That's, whoa, mid-range and tweeters. I wouldn't have expected that. Maybe this was an expensive thing in its time, although most things like this are expensive anyway. And uh, expense is no guarantee of quality. I'm just undoing those. It would have come with a, a remote control. There's an infrared doodad there. But hopefully we can just put the volume on maximum and control it from there. But before we do, I'm just wondering, I'm like digging into this. Maybe we don't actually have to dig into it because here you've got the dock. So you have, it says VSS AD red LED. And then you've got the actual Apple dock stuff. So you could probably just tap it in straight here. And there's another thing here with, with the same. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we could wire this in. Let's just measure that, shall we? Don't worry, we'll still go in and have a look, but let's just measure, plug it in and see what we would have got if we just wanted to stop there. Because all we need is a five volts pretty much once it's on. So I'll just make sure it's kind of on. We've got the red LED. Yeah, red LED is on. There's our voltmeter. And you've got VSS here. Uh, uh, what's the other one underneath? It's AD. 3V3. Um, which I think is actually okay in a way. Yeah, I think the uh, 3 volts is okay because if I recall, there was. Oh, I thought there was a power regulator on here, but I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Hmm. So this may or may not have worked off 3v3. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep digging. Should be the last screws now. It's taken a while. I've had to undo all those little tiny screws. I guess they really didn't want this thing rattling, which is a good thing. I'm not gonna complain about that. Right, I'm just going to try to get these last two screws out with me magnets. Oh, almost. Ah, I think they're getting dragged back in by the magnets of the uh, speakers. Right, let's not worry about that. Whoa. 
Okay, that's some amp. Let me tilt these. Okay, those screws definitely don't want to come out. Again, held in by the uh, the magnet magnetic force there. Oh, it's a fake. That's a shame. So the big uh, woofer thing in the middle is a fakey fake. Show you that's the main amplifier and gubbins in there so no doubt with some probing we're going to find our voltage rails it's, it's quite interesting there is actually another PCB in here so it may well have the capability of driving another speaker so there's probably a model with or without it um, I'm just going to just separate stuff out and we'll uh, then see where we can attach our device do 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 Okay, it's all live. It's actually live and running, believe it or not. So I'm just hooking the microphone. Should probably turn all this off if you're messing with it. But yeah, I've used a couple of pieces of Kynar that you won't be able to see as I'm zoomed out. And they're so fine. Just put the microphone in. It's okay when it's in a two-way. So that's the module connected to my phone. Look, those are the tiniest filaments of Kynar um, microphone. So all I need to do really is just hook the left and the right. I'm going to assume the ground is the same. Let me just check because sometimes audio ground isn't the same. So put your meter on continuity. Go put uh, your probe on the audio ground and then a regular ground and yes it's fine because I'm not sure if I showed you this I'm pretty sure I didn't if you look in there rather conveniently that's the audio lead very much like the old CD player leads from days of yore so we can easily deal with that um, they've double double teamed the header though so the power from the AC adapters coming in there and this is going off to that front panel here which will be coming out of your iPod so you can you can hook into that wherever you like I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna go um, I think uh, I can kind of see the surface mount resistors where the left and the right's going but uh, what I'll do is I'll just I'll just cut all the kynar and hook this up and we'll review it I've raced on and I've attached the device here I've hot snotted it to the chassis and I've connected the mic through where the infrared hole was. I'll turn that over so you can see that. And then I used a bit of old headphone wire because it is um, insulated. I want to say uh, screened. Screened. It's screened. And I've attached it to the PCB where that grey wire went in with the left, right and the other. Left, right and ground. Even though the ground are the same between that and that. But I wanted the screen to be grounded. So you can see the module is there flashing away in this corner. So really all I need to do is just pop everything back together and we're kind of done. Look at that microphone. So there's the microphone poking through where the infrared hole is, so which is quite nice. So if there you know if you've still got the remote control of course you'd have to recite that somewhere else, but as far as I'm concerned with this, no remote doesn't matter. I'm just gonna bolt it all back together. Oh, no out, Latimer. Is it all right? I've got to get out. Let me out! <laughs> at uh, at sleeping period, we have to give him a shot of morphine. Otherwise, he'd bat his brains against the wall. Man just wasn't built to operate without light. Your mind wasn't built for that conception. Tomorrow, there won't be a city left standing in the world. Have another drink. <laughs> It's all back together now. You could see the LED is blue, and the reason it's blue is because actually it needs to detect the iPods in there. So there is an ID line, just short that to ground, and then bang, it's on blue. So now it thinks there's an iPod connected. And uh, it's really good. The quality actually is superb for what it is. Um, and just to show you the whole Google thing works. Hello, Google. Hello, Google. Tell me a joke. What keeps rock stars cool? Their fans. Ooh. There you go. You can't improve uh, 
Oh my gosh. You can't improve Google Jokes, unfortunately, with it, but it does work and it saves it from the tip. So there you go. Have a look at that. Go to uh, Maker Fabs, order one of their Bluetooth modules and spend half an hour messing around and you can build your own kind of Sonos-y thing. Um, I can hear a rattle. There's a couple of screws I still need to tighten up, but I'm done, more or less. Thanks for watching.